How's your couscous? Yum yum. You know, I had quite an interesting chat with your mom today. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Well, I know she comes on a little strong, but her heart's in the right place. Oh, by the right place, you mean in a cooler on its way to a dying man in Tennessee, then we agree. You can't possibly mean that. I suppose not. She's too selfish to donate an organ. <laughs> Even one she doesn't use. That's so unfair, Charlie. I mean, your mother loves you. Really? Did she or did she not say I was a bitter disappointment? Well, she did, but... And that's... did she or did she not say that I'm a lazy-ass schlock jingle writer who wasted 13 years of piano lessons that she paid for by marrying a series of men with large wallets and small penises? Yes, that was mentioned. But it's only natural for someone who loves you to want to see you live up to your potential. I mean, do you really want to be known as the guy who writes songs about adult diapers? Hey, it's better than being known as the guy who wears them. Charlie, we both know you can do so much more with your life. Maybe, but you gotta admire my restraint. Oh, come on. Look how much you've accomplished just since we've been together. You're exercising regularly, you've cut way down on the drinking, and you're eating right. Did you ever think you'd be able to change your life the way you have? Never. It just goes to show you can do anything you put your mind to. I smell meat. Excuse me? Your breath. It stinks of meat. Well, it, 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 it could be my tongue. My tongue is meat. No, you've been eating meat. I can smell it. Maybe it's this breast of tofurkey you smell. No, I smell beef. Where would I get beef? You tell me. Well, Maybe it's secondhand beef. What? You know, like secondhand smoke. Some thoughtless guy is sitting next to you eating a steak. Can. Oh, screw it. I paid a slightly disturbed woman to toss a bag of bacon cheeseburgers onto the deck while you were getting dressed. Oh, Charlie. Don't owe Charlie me. I was starving. And I'll tell you another thing. My power walk was two quick beers and a half a Cuban cigar while cowering in my own garage. That's why you smelled like Lemon Pledge. Well, it certainly wasn't to bring out the natural luster of my forehead. So you've been lying to me? If by lying you mean telling you I wasn't going to do a bunch of things and doing them anyway and lying about it, then yes, I've been lying to you. Well, I suppose I can forgive you if you promise it'll never happen again. Oh, it'll never happen again. You know why? Because I am done with this whole charade. I'm tired of you trying to make me over into something I'm not. I'm a grown man, not a work in progress. Charlie, people are staring. Let them stare. You guys know what I mean. Why can't women look at a guy for who he is instead of who they can turn him into? Please, you're embarrassing me. Well, good. Maybe now you know how I feel, sitting in a restaurant eating medallions of bean curd with lawnmower sauce. <laughs> Am I right? No man should have to eat anything with the word curd in it. No, you're turning into a real ass here. Well, then I'm finally living up to my potential. I'm a big old bourbon-soaked, cigar-huffing ass, as God in his infinite wisdom meant me to be. As he meant all men to be. You guys are disappointing God. 